Without farmers, no food. With that slogan, farmers took their tractors to food distribution centers around the country, blocking refrigerated trucks from delivering food to thousands of supermarkets. We think that people should experience what farmers are experiencing right now. Jeroen Willems was forced to sell his farm last year because he couldn't earn enough money with his 50 cows and meet government limits on emissions. I was the fourth generation. I'm part of the fourth generation of farmers in our family and that you have to give that up is very difficult. It is estimated that around 5,000 farmers will have to sell their farms, especially those who live close to natural parks. They will have to cut nitrogen emissions coming from animal feces by up to 70 percent per farm. Research has shown that nitrogen emissions have severely damaged air quality and ecosystems in the Netherlands after decades of intensive farming. Now radical action is needed to meet European emission targets. After years of farmers' protests over government plans, the conflict has escalated in recent weeks. The effects of these farmers' protests are increasingly being felt by the Dutch public. After weeks of blocking highways and some confrontations with police, now they're targeting the very core of society, food. While a recent survey suggests that public support for these actions have gone up, the question is now, will this trend continue? The Association for Supermarkets have asked police to end the blockades as soon as possible. They say it's not only shops being affected, but that hospitals and other institutions could soon start running out of food. They are right, and if they think they have to do this, just do it. Only problem is that our supermarkets may be empty, but then at least we know where the food is coming from. I understand why they're protesting. Question is how much it disrupts society. If citizens start to suffer, there'll be a limit to what people will accept. Farmers say they will continue the blockades until the government changes its emission plan. We don't have much choice. I don't know if it will have any effect. I hope so. We don't want to disrupt everything. But as things are now, we have nothing to lose. The threat to paralyze the country and block access to Schiphol Airport and Rotterdam Port did not materialize. But without any solution in sight, farmers are likely to continue to take to the streets with their tractors and wooden shoes. Stap Fasen in Nijkerk.